Brace yourself for a shock, Lisa. Here's who the vampire really is. Uncle Leon! I've run this hotel for 18 years. You don't deserve it. It's mine. He planned to make you believe you were a vampire, so you'd let him put you away for your own protection. And sign over the hotel to him. How did you figure it out? The most puzzling clue was the scrap of paper. Exo six decimo? I checked the dictionary on a hunch. Desmo is part of the Latin name for vampire bats. Desmo Dante die. From that, we knew someone had bought six vampire bats from Exo. Exo, the exotic pet shop on the mainland. And that told us what this so-called silent whistle meant. He used the whistle to make the bats fly because they hear ultrasonic sounds as well as dogs. Whistle? Oh! Yep, yep, that's how we did it, all right. <laughs> but the main clue that led us to your uncle was the tinkling of the bells that both Daphne and Lisa heard over the phone. Uncle Leon had hypnotized Lisa to go into a trance and think she was a vampire whenever she heard bells. But what made the bell sound? Better recover your ears, Lisa. The automatic hypnosis will wear off pretty fast, but let's play it safe. Wow, a rest alarm! The newspaper clippings about your grandfather were all phony. Uncle Leon, how could you? Ah, you'll have a good long time to think about that, miss. Come on, you. Hey, gang, I brought a little gift to show my gratitude. It's like we cannot accept gifts. You're a friend. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, okay. Maybe somebody else will want these giant-sized hamburgers with chili, relish, mustard, pickles, onions, cheese. <laughs> On second thought, we accept, stranger. <laughs> Like, I still don't see how this funny little bell could hypnotize anybody. Boy, it works! <laughs> hey! Hey, you're not hypnotized! You're only spoofing! <laughs> Looks like Scooby put one over on you, Shag. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.